Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Movies Edition for the week of August 27th, 2018. This week in movies, we have Bond 25 things to talk about. We've got a, a Netflix update. We've got Disney things to discuss and Deadpool 3? Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. That's right, Deadpool 3. How, what? Isn't that, what? Isn't that supposed to read X-Force? <laughs> uh, apparently, David Leach has just announced that, or Leach, 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 Leach? I'm going with Leach. Uh, just announced that he is coming back for Deadpool 3 as soon as he's finished with his Fast and Furious spinoff, Hobbs and, what is it, Hobbs and Shaw. Again, what? Uh, I, all of the announcements we got at the, at the release of Deadpool 2 said that a 3 is super unlikely because we've expanded the universe into including X-Force, and so the next movie is going to be X-Force, and that was going to be what carried our Deadpool fix from here going forward, at least in the foreseeable future, was X-Force and not actual Deadpool movies. I'm not complaining by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just weird that, I mean... It made money. Both both Deadpool movies have made a lot of money. So it makes sense that they would want another Deadpool branded movie and test the waters with some X-Force. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I've, I've, this could be a great thing because the more Deadpool, the merrier, right? So, yeah. Next is Little Mermaid. Uh, Disney just offered... It wasn't... As of doing the research and filming this, uh, she had not accepted, as far as I know, but they had offered the role of Ariel, Ariel, however you want to pronounce her name, uh, to Zendaya. Another name that I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, either Zendaya or Zendaya. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I can't remember which way she says. Because diversity. I. That's all I can say. It, there's no, no reason for this other than just because diversity. And... Uh, Yes, I understand the original Little Mermaid will always be a thing. You can always go watch the original animated movie or go read the Hans Christian Andersen uh, story or try and find the lore that created the story by Hans Christian Andersen. I just... It, yeah, we're moving on. I'm, we're not touching any more of that because I feel like it's obvious how I feel about this. Next is a really awesome movie music update for Wonder Woman 1984. Hans Zimmer officially announced that he is going to be scoring this movie. Hans Zimmer, for those of you that don't know, did more uh, Christopher Nolan movies. He's, he, I believe he did the Batman trilogy. I know he did the war one, which I didn't see, but is apparently fantastic. <laughs> um, uh, just Hans Zimmer is musically when it comes to film is a freaking musical genius he yeah that this is this this just kind of amps up the expectations for wonder woman 1984 so it better be freaking great there have been some uh leaked footage or leaked uh, uh images rather from the set of wonder woman we're not going to talk about that because it's nothing really to talk about it's like ooh, they're filming a movie we knew that. Moving on. Next, we're moving over to the Netflix wheelhouse of things. We just got an announcement that there will be a second Death Note live-action Netflix movie, uh, presumably with some returning cast members, though you could write it so that it happened somewhere else. But uh, they're doing this because they called the first movie a, quote, sizable success end quote um it wasn't horrible 
but by no means was it a good movie. It was something to watch while you're doing other things. Um, sizable success based, based purely on views. I, maybe I can see how they stretched it into that because again, a lot of people put on Netflix and just go, yeah, sure. Let's put that on while I'm balancing my checkbook. I like, I feel like that's a disingenuous rubric to, to justify future movies. I feel like the, the, the aggregated critic scores, so like Rotten Tomatoes and so on and so forth, that should be taken into consideration. Fan uh, fan reactions should be taken into consideration, and I don't see either of those things being taken into consideration if they're making a sequel to this movie. Uh, it was okay as a standalone movie, but again, not that great. So, sure, whatever. Do what you want. It's your money, Netflix. You're basically printing the stuff these days anyway, and we're moving on. Our last bit of news is actually kind of multi-tiered bit of news about James Bond, the 25th movie in the franchise, which we know now is going to be starring Daniel Craig. We also know that Idris Elba, while he was in consideration for future movies, has come out recently and said, you know what, I don't really want to play James Bond. As much as I feel like Idris Elba would be a really, really great James Bond because he's usually a really great whatever he's doing. I, I don't blame him for wanting to, to not to be part of that uh, circus, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, but that, that's not necessarily what we're talking about right now. Uh, Danny Boyle left the project, Creative Differences, and that, that's kind of... Um, the, the, the and then they also have sh a very short list of other British directors because you have to be British to direct uh, James Bond. That's one of the things. Um, so the because Danny Boyle left, this is the bit that we're talking about. Because Danny Boyle left, the release date has been was pushed back initially. They kind of pushed it back into 2020. Uh, or pushed it back into rather later 2019, they were going to try and get it in for the awards season of uh, to the of 2020. But now, because it has taken longer to fill the shoes of director since Danny Boyle left, it's pushed back indefinitely. It's some indeterminate time in 2020. Uh, so we're pushing two back two years back before just uh, that's. I'm, I really want to see the last Daniel Craig Bond movie. I, I'm, I totally understand that he didn't want to do this at first, and then probably the money spoke, and he said, yeah, sure, I'll do it one last time. I, I feel like this, this is probably second or even first best iteration of Bond just because it's so unique in and of itself, whereas all of the other versions of Bond the actor was kind of interchangeable. Maybe not the Pierce Brosnan ones because those were a little too cheesy. Um, and, and definitely Sean Connery is Sean Connery, but still you could have kind of put the other guys in wherever and it would have been effectively the same movie. Whereas Daniel Craig's movies, I don't think the other Bond actors could have done a, such a physical role or even such a light on the camp role. So I, yeah, uh, this is going to be exciting when it finally hits. If it ever does, I feel like if they don't find a director soon, then a lot of stuff is going to start to fall apart and it might not happen. Don't quote me on that, but it's a possibility. And that, guys, is where we're ending this week's movies episode. Thank you very, very much for watching all the way to the end. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you and I can get into a deeper dialogue, or you can just read the things that are up on the website. There, uh, There is a blog up there and, and all kinds of fun things. Or go buy your nerdy swag at the stores, which are all linked to from generallynerdy.net social medias and all that thing all, all that stuff as well or if you want to support the channel a little more directly there is a patreon patreon.com slash generally nerdy you can go over there and show your support in a more direct monetary fashion you get more content if you support through patreon patreon even for just a dollar a month you get almost double the content so go check it out patreon.com slash generally nerdy 
If you're brand new to the channel though, click the subscribe button, ring the bell so that you know when I post new videos. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, before we do all of the things and clicking buttons and websites and stuff, guys, always, always remember, if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.